Are you the friend that everyone loves and trusts because they can open up to you and you give really good advice? Well, today I'm going to be sharing with you how to become a skilled, successful, trained, qualified, and certified life coach in a day who gets paid. My company created a one-day life coach live stream certification training that's hosted by a master life coach trainer. That's me. You get to spend a full day with me via live stream being educated and empowered on what a life coach is and what a life coach is not. More on that coming up so that you don't have to guess or Google your way through the misinformation from what you've heard or read on the Internet. So if this sounds like you or someone you know who's on a money and a time budget, but you still want to feel credible while coaching client and becoming successful while building a coaching company. How watching and keep listening. I want to start our conversation off with a free gift to you. It's called the Life Coach Quiz. It's over at www.thelifecoachquiz.com. It'll tell you if you are indeed ready to become a certified life coach and take your next steps with me. If someone else that you know comes to mind who could use this information today, I want you to share this video with them real quick by tagging them in the comments below or sharing this video on your page and help them get their hands on that free coaching quiz over at thelifecoachquiz.com as well. Now, if we've never met before, hey, I'm Coach AJ. After experiencing the death of my mother and a divorce on the same day, dropping out of college, dealing with homelessness, the downsizing of my corporate career, I decided I'm going to take control of my destiny. So I dedicated myself to studying and mastering the life coach certification process. I designed a certification curriculum for life coaches, and I have dutifully trained and certified life coaches all over the world, 120 to be exact. I developed this the International Center for Life Coach Training, LOC, and a one-day life coach certification training process that takes place via live stream. So now that you know who I am, tell me if this is you. Krista, Krista scrolls Facebook several times a day. She's starting to notice that her friends have started to call themselves coaches. What is a coach? She says, knowing that she has a lot in common with most of her friends. But it was like all of a sudden, she started to see pictures of her friends wearing these beautiful dresses and full faces of makeup while doing photo shoots. And in every other picture, they all had microphones in their hands. They were speaking on stages in front of a crowd of people. But what are they talking about? Who are they talking to? She thought of scroll and she noticed that more and more of her friends were posting about their airport trips and pictures of themselves flying all over the world for speaking engagements right what's going on she wondered what am i missing <laughs> she asked herself aloud omg when did she become a speaker what is she speaking about and who are these people in the pictures that she's speaking to how did they find out about her? Why did she get an invitation to speak? And I didn't. So she leaves social media and goes to the next social media platform. And then she starts to see videos of her friends. They were going live. They were talking about their experience and how they're now a coach. And again, this is not a conversation that she remembered having with any of them. But so many people were watching their Facebook lives. So many people were liking their Instagram posts. So she started people giving them thumbs up and hearts on their pictures on their social media pages. Krista feared that she was definitely missing out on something. So she started scrolling through her comments, but not just any comments. She actually decided to scroll her friend's comments and then she started started to watch the videos of her friends. And then she started to see that they were getting so much attention. She started to get jealous. Then she had an aha moment. She said to herself, you know what? I'm going to be a coach too, whatever that is. <laughs> she said to herself, if my Facebook friends can do it, 
it appears as though they just take pictures and talk to people and people listen and they love them. And I want that. I'm missing that. I need it. So I'm going to get. So she titles herself a coach and she pops it in front of her name on her next social media post. And she says, now I too go by coach, coach Krista to be exact. So then she decided to do her very first Facebook live presenting herself as coach Krista. Hi guys. It's Coach Krista, she said. I'm a little nervous. Not really sure what I'll be talking about today. But I just know I want to help you. You popped up on her Facebook Live. Ooh. And then it went away. <laughs> she got discouraged. And she ended the live and deleted it. She asked herself, what am I doing wrong? So she started to scroll social media. She went to YouTube this time. She found videos of people doing the same thing. But she noticed that everyone is just talking. So she says, why can't I just talk? Why can't I just help people on video? Why can't crowds of people come to hear me speak on my video? Why can't I get people to call me for speaking engagements? I want to dress up. I want to take flights around the world. I want to take pictures in airports. So her just grew. She saw her friend's websites on her Facebook page. And then she said to herself, oh, that's what I'm missing, a website. So then she has this brilliant idea. She's going to create her own website exactly the way her friend did hers because that was the type of coach Krista wanted to be doing. So she copied and pasted everything from her friend's website onto her own. And then she knew she had the missing or so she thought. On her next live, she did exactly what she saw her friend practice on her video. She said, hey guys, go visit my website. <laughs> Crickets. No one even watched her live. How would they ever know? She became discouraged. The next day, as she was scrolling through Facebook again, she noticed that people started to tag her friends in a post. And on her friends page, they were chatting about her, her last live, her friend's last live, and her view count went up in hundreds now. And Krista said, but I can't even get it once to my website. So she started thinking to herself, hmm, she got another bright idea. She said, it looks like you just have to tag people in a Facebook post. So she created a post. <laughs> hey guys, Coach Krista here. Would love to be your coach. Go visit my website. So she had 99 people in that post. And she said, that has to be it. People are going to start coming to my page, finding out that I'm a coach, and I'm loved by y'all. And so people are going to start watching my lives too, right? I'm so excited. But instead, she noticed people untagging themselves in her post. And under, some people also sent some very explicit inbox messages. She was confused. What am I not doing? She asked herself. I mean, I go live. Nobody watches. I have a website. Nobody visits. I tag 99 people in my post and they untag themselves and they unfriended me. She had no clue what to do. She was only doing what she saw her friends do. I mean, they were coaches, whatever that was, right? She wanted to be a coach. At this point, Krista felt that all she could do was what she saw being done online. Makes sense, right? She even had one coach say to do that, to copy and paste what she sees being done online. But several months later, Krista is still rinsing and repeating the process that has not yet yielded her results. She dresses up, she puts on makeup, she gets on camera, and nothing. She tags people in her posts and nothing. She tells people to visit her website. She's even been joining other coaches' email lists for their freebies, and nothing. <laughs> she finally decided to just give up this coaching thing because it must not work anyway. Everybody must be lying. She felt like she was absolutely missing out on something, but now ugh, she's on to the next thing in her life. No more Coach Krista. Because coaching doesn't work anyway, right?
don't be a Krista. Head over to www.thelifecoachquiz.com like her friend Crystal did. So Crystal had always loved helping people. And ever since she was a young child, she could remember loving to volunteer, to serve, and to see the smile on people's face when she served at church. And so she remembers that as a teen, she loved helping people feel better, helping people think better, helping people to live better lives, right? So her biggest joy actually came from that smile she seen on people's face after they felt more uplifted with a clearer mind after talking with her in a conversation. They always hugged her and they always thanked her for listening to them, right? So later in her life, she was an adult. She was always that friend who would call to check in on her friends. So on her drive to work, on her lunch hour, and on her drive home, she would call in to check on them individually, especially those she hadn't heard from in a while. She wanted to see how life was going for each of her friends who even just needed to talk and have her listen because, again, she was that friend. So once again... She was talking to her friends and she remembered talking to a friend who said, Crystal, you will make a great life coach. You're so easy to talk to. You always listen and you ask really good questions. I love hearing your voice when you call. I trust you. And I also noticed that in our friend group, it's like everyone comes to you with their problems and we all feel better for it. Have you ever considered making this into a career? I'm pretty sure there are women all over the world who wish they had a friend like you. She had been looking for what would be next in her life, like when her kids graduated high school and went off to college and she was then dealing with what we call empty nest syndrome. And she really wanted to start mapping out what her life could look like in her next chapter. And so this new thing called life coaching could potentially be it. She was intrigued. So she went to Google University. And she typed in this new word she had never heard before called life coaching. And several million results popped up. Who knew? So she started to click around online and she visited websites. And there were hundreds of articles, opinions given, advice shared, and all of this about what is a life coach. But she was still very unclear because there are so many different directions that she could go. So she visited YouTube University and she watched some old videos from years ago of people who were in the industry, it seems like forever ago. And she continued to click and to scroll through the internet, adding to the mounds of research she was already doing, trying to gather the information that was available. Some of the stuff sounded okay, but she needed to get clearer on this life coaching industry and what it was exactly. So she said, if I can only get a better understanding of how all this information applies to me and my next steps on this journey, I could get clearer on my actual role as a potential future life coach and what that could be. Future life coach. She liked the sound of that. So she visited Amazon. She typed in the word life coach. She found a few books. But again, started to seem a little random, like these random people who she didn't know were given their opinion of what life coaching is and what the industry was all about. She then decided to log into Facebook and type in the word life coach in the search bar to see if anyone out there was already doing this life coaching thing and what she might be able to learn from them. So she added what she knew from Google, from YouTube, from Amazon. Not that it wasn't correct, but she needed advice today. It's like a modern take on the understanding of what life coaching is in this social media high technology age. And so she noticed that there were groups for life coaches and pages for life coaches. And again, that was all jumbled up information for her. So she kept scrolling. She also wanted to understand it from someone who looked like her, a woman's perspective, to see how it applied to her and her next level. So she came across a page of someone with the actual title of Master Life Coach Trainer in her profile. Who was this person? And has she actually mastered the knowledge of the life coaching industry? So she clicked on the profile page. She's seen a recent Facebook Live video entitled, What is a Life Coach Exactly? Hmm. This video was by an entertaining, energetic, beautiful, big smile personality type who goes by Coach AJ. (laughs) 
<laughs> and she was actually engaging with her viewers and she was answering questions about life coaching and how to become one in a day. So throughout the video, Coach AJ continued to talk about what coaching is and how it applies to people who is that girlfriend that everyone loves and trusts because she's a good listener. Crystal instantly knew she was in the right place. So throughout the video, Coach AJ mentioned a free quiz at www.thelifecoachquiz.com for people who were new to the world of coaching and wanted to become a certified life coach. And that could potentially be on their next steps to their journey living the life they desired as a life coach. So Crystal clicked the link and she took the quiz and she remembered what her friend said as she selected her answer on the quiz. She said, huh, my friend said, Crystal, you're such a great listener. You're so easy to talk to. We always feel better afterwards. Hmm. She went ahead and entered her email address and then she selected the answer that reflected who she knew she was inside and who her friend had just reminded her she was to them. She hit submit and now the moment she had been waiting for. What seemed like days of scrolling the internet and finally getting clear on if she was even ready to become a life coach or if the life coaching industry was even for her, she saw this button that popped up and it said view results. She clicked it and up popped the video of Coach AJ saying, congratulations, you are a committed coach. And then she extended the invitation to potentially be on the next step to the journey to becoming a life coach. Crystal clicked, except to accept her invitation. It took her to a site she hadn't found in her Google search called lifecoachinaday.com. Wow, she thought. I'm starting to understand what a life coach is and how I can become one since Coach AJ, my quiz results, and my friends say that I have the qualities to do so. I think I do too. And a life coach in a day. I can do that. I'm in. So she scrolls the sites. She gets more information. She gets her frequently asked questions answered. And she discovered that there's an upcoming life coach certification training via live stream coming up really soon. So she started to understand how this training would help her become a better listener, learn how to ask really good questions, even better than the ones she had been asking her friends before, and how it would help her and other people get results in their lives, all thanks to them having her as their new life coach. So she was ready to invest in herself, in her future, in her natural born gift to serve, in her future of helping others. She pulled out her credit card, she typed in her information and thought to herself, I am really doing this. She closed her eyes and she clicked buy. <laughs> she is officially registered for the training to become a certified life coach. She feels like this is the start to something new. She's excited. She can't wait to tell her friend about it. Crystal looks forward to meeting the other soon-to-be coaches who are going through that training with her. I mean, think about it. They get to learn from a master life coach trainer, hear more about her story of life coaching and how she's still around today. Crystal was so excited about receiving her certificate that read Crystal Certified Life Coach along with her master plan for how she's going to tell people what she does as a new life coach and how much she charges for making a difference in their life. She could not wait for what was next for her on her journey to success as an educated, empowered, skilled, professionally trained, credible, qualified, certified life coach. And to think, all of this started becoming a reality for her when she visited www thelifecoachquiz.com. Be a crystal. Go to thelifecoachquiz.com. Take the quiz. It's really quick. Select the answer that speaks to your heart, and I'll see you soon. Again, I am Master Life Coach Trainer AJ Austin. Thanks for listening.